welcome back to my channel, you guys. I'm so excited to hang out with you guys today. I hope you're doing well. It's been a while since we've hung out, so I am very excited to hang out with you today. I recently just got this cardigan, so I wanted to show you guys my outfit before I leave the, leave the house. I'm going to the post office. We have to return some shoes, and we have to do other business things, so I figure I would bring you guys along with me. I recently just got this cardigan, and I think it is the cutest cardigan ever. I love the color. It's not too bold, not too in your face. I think the buttons really bring it down and make it very casual. If you guys look closely, you will see that there are little hearts on it, and then there's little pearls on the outline of the heart. I love the material as well. It feels very expensive and very, very cozy, but not too warm. The inside is not fuzzy where you feel itchy or like too warm, but at the same time, it does keep me very, very comfortable. So I'm pairing it with a white tank top and then I'm wearing these white shorts, which I'm very excited about. You guys, I have such a hard time finding shorts because I am short and then also like thicker down there. So I can never find shorts that fit me perfectly. I love these. I will definitely link these shorts down below because I feel like a lot of us have the same body type and we have such a hard time finding shorts and pants, right? So I'll link this down below. I bought this from Shein maybe a few months ago, but they should still have them. And then this is my whole outfit here. I'm matching my shoes with my outfit. Very casual, but still super cute. I love this outfit. What do you guys think? Hello, I am in the car. It's been many hours later. I went to the post office and then I went to the bank and those are not exciting places to bring you guys along with me. But I came to this plaza and I got Chipotle for lunch. You guys know I'm literally obsessed with Chipotle. I will show you guys what I get at Chipotle because if you make it the way I make it and you like salads, it's so good. But also they're opening up a crumble, crumble cookies. Have you guys ever been there? Comment down below. Please let me know what your favorite thing to order is. I've never had it before and I thought they were open, but it turns out that they're still doing construction. So they're not open quite yet. So I'm kind of devastated. But after this, we are going to hit up Home Goods and Target and then I'm gonna grab Carlos some lunch. But in the meantime, I'm waiting for a phone call. So I figure I would just have lunch in my car with you guys and hang out. I got a Chipotle bowl. I rarely ever get their burritos. I have to be like super hungry. But if you guys don't shake your bowls, you're doing it wrong. Always shake your bowls and then tap on the lid so all the stuff falls down. So when I go to Chipotle, I get a, this is exactly how I order. I ask for a bowl, but I ask for them to start with shredded lettuce. So I'll say, hi, can I please have a bowl with extra shredded lettuce first? So then they'll go to the shredded lettuce at the end of the line and they'll start with that. And then I do a little bit of white rice, half chicken, half steak. I do mild, a little bit of hot corn and then extra lettuce again. So literally my whole bowl is just lettuce and it tastes absolutely amazing. Ah, look at that you guys. Look how beautiful this bowl is. Let's not make, I need a car wash so badly. Let's not make a huge mess. Can you guys see this beautiful creation? Probably not, huh? It is literally just, just lettuce. And then if I'm really hungry, I ask for a tortilla on the side, but this is like super rare. But if you guys don't want to commit to a burrito, you can ask for it on the side and you can just wrap your Chipotle bowl. And then I always ask for like a mini bag of chips. And then if you guys get their regular drink, get the hibiscus lemonade. That one's my favorite. <sighs> So I don't know about you guys, but my Chipotle here where I live makes really good Chipotle bowls and they season their stuff really well. Mmm, it hits every time. Mmm, goodbye. These are so cute for the holidays. They're already packaged. They're so easy. Just a gift and there's like a bunch of stuff in there. We're in the dog section. How cute is that thing? Our dogs won't use it. If you guys are looking for really good dog toys, they always have really good dog toys here. Look at all of this, you guys. Look at this whole collection. I always get our dogs toys here. They're amazing and they're obsessed with it. Let's see what we can find today. They like toys that squeak and I always have to come home with more presents. So let's see. Oh, that's really cute. Look at this. Oh my God, Clementine would love this. I might get this for Clementine. How cute is this, you guys? Oh my goodness, what else is here? We like squeaky toys. 
So fun fact about Casper, he likes balls. So we always get him these balls that squeak. These are really cool. These glow in the dark. And you guys, everything is just super affordable compared to the regular prices at, you know, like if you go to Target, definitely don't go to PetSmart or Petco. I feel like they're really expensive there. Unless it's like really worth it, you know? I'm getting this toy for the boys. It's like a hide and seek toy. And it's, I think it's a circus. And then inside there's like little things and they can like squeak it. They love these. I love hide and seek toys because it really stimulates their brain and they have to figure out how to get things out. I'm getting this for the boys. There's a banana and these all squeak. I'm getting Casper balls. And then Riley loves this one. This one's really soft, but it bounces. And then I'm gonna get this one too. Oh my God. I've been looking everywhere for this. Okay, we're getting this. I wanted to wrap all of our presents in something like this. It's so cute. Look, there's a car with a Christmas tree. I don't know how much I'll need, but look at all of this, you guys. And there's, I think I'm gonna get two more. Well, I'm so excited. I was gonna buy it online, but I'm so glad they have it here. Hi, can I have an ultimate cheeseburger, please? And two tacos? And that's it. Okay, yes. Thank you. Hi you guys, I am home. I wanted to quickly show you guys a few outfits that I got for the fall into the holiday time. I'm so excited, Shein is sponsoring today's video. They sent over all these pieces which I got to choose and I'm mm, I'm so excited for them. I do wanna let you guys know that they are having the biggest sale of the year. Black Friday is back and it's happening you guys. Make sure you guys check out Shein, biggest sale of the year. Most of the items are up to 85% off and I don't know if you guys know this, but you can stack discount codes on Shein. I don't know if I've ever shared that before, but I just figured everyone knew. But you guys can use the discount code on their website, and then on top of that, add my discount code, which is Kim Tai. Kim Tai will take 15% off your order on the entire website, and you get free returns within 45 days, so that's really cool. I am in love with this dress here. I think it is so classy, so girly, and so cute. I love the colors. The colors are so fall appropriate. If you guys are looking for fall clothes, Shein has very affordable prices and their styles are so, so pretty. You can absolutely find anything. Like I promise you, you can find anything on the Shein website. I will have all the items linked down below for you guys. So if you guys are interested in any of these, make sure you guys check out the description bar down below. First and foremost, this dress fits me perfectly. I love the color. I love the design. And my favorite part is the middle part here is completely completely stretchy. It's very comfortable on and I feel like it lands on me perfectly. You can pair this with nice booties, you can pair it with heels, whatever it may be. And I think it goes really well with my hair as well. So I love this one. I think it's so cute and flowy. I love all the detailing. If you guys watch my vlogs, then you know I'm a huge fan of big crew necks. I love wearing them around the house. They're so comfortable. And I found this on the Shein website and it's so cute. I love the color and it's very, very comfortable comfortable and super lightweight. These are definitely in style right now and I actually have a few of these and I love them. I love the design. I love the color. I just love the whole entire vibe. You can throw these over anything. You can dress them up or down. I specifically love this one because of the color combination and I think the style is also super cute. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I feel like it goes very well with my couch. <laughs> This one is kind of the same vibe. I think they're called shirt jackets. So I think they're called shackets. They are so comfortable to wear. Like I said, you can throw it on top of anything. This one is more on the lighter weight side. I got it in black. I also got it in another color, which is green. I love the green one because it's this really deep green for like the Christmas time. You can pair this like me right now with like shorts and a tank or you can pair it over like leggings, jeans. If you guys go a few sizes up and do like an oversized look, you can pair over a tight dress as well. I actually really like this one. I can see myself wearing this one a lot. I also love the button detailing down the middle. I will have to say I am most excited for this one. I've been looking for a blazer jacket, a coat jacket. Similar to this, I love the design. It reminds me a lot of Chanel's vibe. I've been looking for something like this and I love the gold button detailing. These range for a lot if you guys look at other places, but I'm very happy that I found it on Shein. I'm excited to pair this. You can, I feel like this is a staple. You can have it in your closet and pair with a lot of things. It doesn't have to be fall or winter related. 
plated. You can pretty much pair with anything and put it on top of anything. And I just love how chic it is. And it's very grown up. I don't really have anything like this. And it's also oversized for me and it's very comfortable. So I feel like I still have room under to like stuff layers. And this is our other option. I love the pop of color. I think this is very holiday appropriate. I can see myself wearing this with like a dress under, even like a skirt and maybe like a bodysuit with a little bit of a turtleneck. You can also wear it with some high-waisted jeans. You can wear it pretty much with anything. You can even wear it with some dressier shorts. I love the color. Again, love the gold detailing. I think this is really, really cute. And I've been looking for something like this. So I'm very glad that I found it. We even have the buttons down the side as well. I know a lot of us love sweater dresses during the holiday time, and so I chose this black one off the Shein website. Hopefully it's not too hard to see. I know it's really black, but that's what I love about it, That is that it's not see-through. Another thing I love is that it comes with this bow that you can tie at the waist. It's really gonna cinch in, give you some curves, because I know during the holidays, we're eating a lot, and you know, sometimes we have our little belly popping out, and that's okay, you know? Enjoy your holidays and eat all you want, you guys. Life is too short, right? But I love this dress because of the situation in the middle, but also it flows out the bottom. So as you can tell, it's very flattering and you don't have to worry too much, but at the same time, it's giving you all those holiday vibes with the sweater design. If I come up closely, you'll see we have all of this kind of like sweater feel and then the long sleeve, very cozy. I would pair this with thigh high boots. I would pair this with booties. And oh, you can also wear like tights under this as well. I love this color. Again, I'm really into all the browns right now. Not because it's fall, but I've been really into it the last few months. I will have to say, every time I buy a dress from Shein, it lands on me perfectly. I am 5'1 on a good day. And as you guys can see, this one is so flattering on my height. And I feel like on my body shape as well. You can tie a bow in the middle, which is what I did right here. Very comfortable. I also admire sleeves like this. I really tend to love them a lot. I buy a lot of things with sleeves like this. And I also love how flowy the bottom of the dress is. And it's not touching the ground. I am a big fan of this. You guys will probably see me wear this a lot in the vlogs. Okay, can you guys tell? I have a obsession this season and I'm very, very happy that Shein has all of my favorite dresses and things that I'm looking for because I love this one so much. Again, we're going with the sleeves. We love the sleeves. I love the color here. This one is definitely more casual out of all the dresses that we just tried on together. This one has kind of like this flowy ruffle at the top here and then you can also cinch in the waist. There's a lot of room as you guys can tell to expand and be comfortable. I would wear this to the mall. I would wear it to Target, my favorite place. I would wear shopping on a lunch date. You can dress this up or down. It is so freaking cute. I will have everything linked down below for you guys. Everything that I tried on will have a link down there. So make sure you guys click on the links. Let me know which one's your favorite. I love, love hearing your opinion. Let me know in the comments down below. Go ahead, leave a comment. I would love to hear your input. Also, don't forget, up to 85% off, you guys. If you guys are not shopping on the Shein website for Black Friday, you're missing out. They have everything that you possibly could want. And also, that free return up to 45 days. Also, stack on the Kim Tai discount code. Kim Tai for 15% off on top of all the other discount codes on the website. Such an affordable, easy place to shop and I just have so much fun on there. Hello everyone, it's been a few hours. Got a lot of things done in the last two hours. I was not able to bring you along, but I am going to make Carlos's favorite Vietnamese dessert. It's called Gia Thai. Pretty sure that it started in Thailand, but Vietnamese people, we call it Gia Thai. I went to the Asian market yesterday and had the time of my life. You basically put like all, a bunch of canned fruit in and then half and half and it's the most amazing dessert in the world. That's the best way that I can describe it to you guys. I got green jelly and then I also have grass jelly, which is the dark one. This one's my favorite. I like grew up eating this one. And you can find all of these at any Asian market, you guys. It's a little bit harder to find at an American store. And then I got jackfruit. Jackfruit. Jackfruit's my favorite. And then I got lychee and coconut jelly. Hopefully these are good. Let me, and then I have this huge bowl. I'm gonna start with the lychee. Oh my God, I love lychee. And then we're gonna pour all that in with the liquid because we want the sweetness of the juices. This one, they were nice enough to just give me, see that's how I like it, okay? And then for the jackfruit, 
we're gonna get the juices as well. I just made sure that they were like the shredded kind so I wouldn't have to go and shred it. And then I'm pretty sure these I have to cut up. Oh yeah. So the green jelly I'll have to cut up in pieces and then this one. This is my childhood dessert. In Vietnam, we call any dessert jia. So whenever you guys go anywhere and you see the word jia, which is C H E, jia thai, you know, anything that is like jia then is a is a form of dessert for us. And we have like a bunch of desserts. The thing, the dessert that like throws Carlos off is we'll take like beans and we make them sweet beans. And he's used to like refried beans or like pinto or black beans. Like one of my favorite desserts in my culture is jia ba mao. And it's, oh my God, it's so good. <gasps> I love coconut jelly. I also have this form. I'm gonna use this too. I, I have young coconut here. I'm not gonna use the juices of this cause I think that's enough. Or no, actually, let me see. Actually, I will, cause yeah, that's fine. Okay, that works. I'm gonna do it the lazy way. I'm gonna cut it inside the can, cause I'm freaking lazy. But you guys can take it out of the can. There we go. My mom's literally yelling at me right now. I can hear her. Grass jelly's my favorite. Look at all of that, it looks wonderful. And then, it's easy peasy. You get a whole container of half and half. You can get this anywhere. And you just pour it in, and then you serve it over ice. And it's so good serving over ice. This is like my favorite, actually any time of the year, but in the summertime, everything. And then you just wanna mix. You get a mason jar here and fill that with ice. We have our container of ice. And then you wanna mix it up. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so refreshing. It's not too sweet. It's just got a hint, and then you wanna get all that goodness in here. There we go. Mm. Wow, I haven't had it in forever. Hey baby, can you come try it? Not too sweet. <laughs> the lychee's at the top. Mm. It's not too sweet, huh? No, it's I really like good. It. The lychee is probably the sweetest thing there. That white ball, yeah. Mmm. Yeah? Wow, that's really good. Pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Usually my sister, Jitu, will make it for Carlos, and Jitu used to do this for a living in mm. Vietnam. So this is like the basic way of doing it. But I'm glad Carlos likes it. <laughs> we'll have to FaceTime mom and show her. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Yeah? It was really easy. Like the easiest thing I've ever made. Mmm, wow. Yeah. I like it. I like it too. Well, we have more for the next two days. <laughs> you made a lot. Oh, you had to, huh? Cause you took uh, yeah, because yeah, I didn't know the measurements, so I kind of just went ham. Mm. No, they're really good, though. I'm gonna make myself a cup. You know what? I'm going to put in the fridge now. Yeah, it's not too sweet. You like? Mm -hmm. It was really easy. Oh, thank you, babe. Yeah, of course. Okay. Have fun editing. If you want more, we have a lot. I'm going to call my mom and show her. Hi, mom. Okay, man. Mommy, yeah? You cool? Oh, yeah, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tôi đi về luôn ha, ở đây. Rồi tôi ở đây. Con mới làm... Con mới làm chè thái. Làm gì ngon dữ vậy? Chè thái. Wow. I'm gonna call Michelle and show her my dessert. <laughs> I made you... the famous Vietnamese dessert. You look so cute. <laughs> I would like you to try it, but you are not coming anytime soon. Oh no! It's the one with the half and half, and then it has like jackfruit in it, remember? Ooh. And then it has all the jello, or the, yeah, the jelly. But I made it like not really sweet, it's just like a hint. I don't know why you look so cute right now. <laughs> Cause I'm fucking happy! <laughs> I made my favorite dessert! <laughs> oh my god.
God. Would you like to come for some? Why are you coming? So you're not coming tomorrow? Oh, no, no, no. That's okay. I'll make it again. It's fine. It was easy. You sure you don't want any? Tell Maiden to come get it. It's okay. Fine, I'll make it for you guys. I'll okay. sleep over and take over the kitchen. I've been wanting to try this with you guys for the longest time. And we're finally gonna do it tonight, okay? This is the last thing we're doing today, okay? I'm very excited. I am tattooing my eyebrows. I have been wanting to do this with you guys for the longest time. And I am so excited. I found it on TikTok. Basically, there was this girl that I've been following for a while. And she has the most beautiful brows. So if you guys look at mine, mine are pretty, I would say, thin and fine hair. I don't really have bushy brows. She has the most beautiful full looking brows and she made a TikTok sharing that she tattoos her eyebrows. So my mom has her eyebrows tattooed like literally. She sat down and someone went in and tattooed them. I would never do that. I am way too scared of that. Did you guys know that they sell eyebrow tattoos? I ordered it off this website. Here's the information on where I ordered it. You guys, it's from Cami Wing. She's she's also Vietnamese. So the owner, her name is Cami, and then she has the same last name as me, N G U Y E N. So I will link this down below. But I ordered a bunch of eyebrow tattoos. So we have this style eyebrow, and then she has like finer hair eyebrows, and then this, and then she has. This one, I ordered a bunch because I wasn't sure what was gonna look good on me or if any of these things were gonna look good on me. And then there's these. And then I also ordered these. These are called Stroke Up. And then these are called High Stroke. You guys, I had no idea that things like this existed, okay? So today we will be tattooing our eyebrows together. Like I said, I'll link this down below for you guys if you wanna do it at home with me. I don't know if this is gonna be successful. I might have just wasted my money because I just, I don't understand how like I understand like if you do a tattoo on your skin because it stays flat, but will it attach to the hair? I don't know. So I'm trying to look at my eyebrow shape to see which one we should do. I don't want to go too intense. I think this one might work. This is called Big Daddy Stroke. Backstroke? Backstroke might work. Deep stroke? I don't think that's going to work. Slow? Slow might work. Straight? I have a curve at the end so I can't do straight. And then stroke up. And then high stroke. Okay, what do you guys think? Slow stroke? Oh, that kind of looks really close. What is the difference between these two? Slow stroke and back stroke. Back stroke? Back stroke I feel like has a higher and then we have big daddy stroke. I think this is too big. Okay, I'm gonna go in with slow stroke. And you guys remember when we were like really young, we would buy those tattoos and you would put them on and then you would take like a paper, a damn paper towel and then you would just like pat it and then you would pull it off and you would have a tattoo on your arm. Basically the same way that you're gonna do this. So they come in sections. So we're just gonna tear two off. I forgot how much I bought these for, yeah, I don't know. I'm so excited but so nervous. This is what, oh, wait, oh. My eyebrows are much smaller. I don't think these will work. Oh, you guys see how long they are compared to my eyebrows? Look, they're too long. Dang it, y'all. I need something shorter or else it's gonna look really weird. What if none of these work? I think I might have to do Big Daddy Stroke. Big Daddy Stroke seems to be the shortest. Also, I love the names. Another product that I bought for my brows is that stamp thingy. So when that comes in the mail, we can try that out. I'm very excited for that because I truly, with a passion, hate doing my eyebrows. Like, it frustrates me. Like, I genuinely get upset doing my eyebrows. Okay, this is Big Daddy Stroke. Oh, they just all look so long, man. I feel like it's not made for girls like us who have... Whatever, we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna get a paper towel and I'm just gonna do it the same way I used to do it when I was 10 years old. I'm first gonna wet this section so you peel off the plastic. Let me wet my paper towel first. And then, oh, wish me luck. And then you want to. Oh God, once you put it down, you can't move it. And then you wanna take a damp paper towel and you wanna dab it in. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, ready? Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's not. Oh, it kind of did work, but I think I maybe I did it wrong, maybe. 
Oh, okay, no, it didn't work, never mind. But you guys see where it kind of worked and I just like lined it up perfectly? Oh, I don't think it works for me because my brows are too small. I don't think it's gonna work for me because my brows are too short. But let's do the other one and then we can call Michelle. You guys, I feel like if you guys have full brows that are longer than mine, I think this would actually work for you. I don't think it's gonna work for me. Yeah, it's way too long. Oh God, <gasps> dang it, this one didn't work out. Oh, it's actually much harder. You know what, the girl that I watched, I feel like her brows were obviously just like longer and fuller. Ugh, dang it, maybe the, the brow stamping. I think it's called Mad Love, it's by the brand Mad Love. And there's like a stencil and you put it on and you like stamp your brows. I think that one might work. I'm sad, I was really excited. I'll probably just put these in one of the giveaway boxes for you guys to try if you're interested because I don't think it's gonna work for me. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I'm doing this huge donation giveaway. I'm cleaning out my closet next week and I got 10 boxes. They're like 20 by 20 boxes. They're huge, they're like this big. And whatever I don't wear, or whatever is like still new that has tags on them, I'm just gonna stuff them in the boxes and I'm gonna do a random giveaway and just choose 10 subscribers and I'm gonna give you guys basically half of my closet. A lot of the items I showed on Instagram already, a lot of the items are actually like brand new. I've never worn them before. And so I thought it's the holiday time and instead of selling it at like Plato's Closet or something or selling it on Poshmark, I'd rather just donate it to you guys. I know you guys will take good care of them and. I would rather just donate and have it be in a loving home than just sell it for money. So I'm really excited for that. I'm definitely going to film the process of me cleaning out my closet next week. And then I'm going to try to ship it out before Thanksgiving because I know the holidays are super, super crazy. But I'm really excited about that. Okay, I'm going to peel this off now. That was really satisfying. Well, that was a fail, but it's okay. We shall try the other eyebrow stamp one. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested though. Okay, let me... Brush my hair, and then we're gonna get ready for bed. Oh, my hair is so black. I'm quite obsessed with it. 